Hello, Reject Nation. I'm Greg Alba. I'm John Humphrey. We're going to watch the E3 2016 gameplay demo for a video game that is coming out in about a week from the day we are shooting this. Maybe tomorrow, depending on when this is uploaded. Or maybe in two months, because now I'm hearing they push this game back. It's called Days Gone, a survival horror video game. Did not see the trailer for this. I remember, like, a couple of years ago, at least, people did request uh, for us to check this out. Never did. I've never seen this on my own time. But one of our top reward tiers on our Patreon is whatever video you request, we must definitely do and put up on the YouTubes. Got a few discussion-based ones coming soon. But this one is a reaction from Lohit Banerjee. Hey, hey, buddy. Let's get to this. He <laughs> loves requesting the game ones, and we love what he requests. Only on PlayStation. Perfect. He's headed to the old sawmill. I'm going in after him. Wow. It's dark soon. As I've ever stopped. It's Colorado. <laughs> Looks like it. <laughs> this game's for you. I can already tell I'm gonna love this game. <laughs> I can definitely tell. <laughs> yeah. This is this is the this is very cool. You said they're using like this. Un, I forget what it's called. Something like Unreal Engine or some shit. Something. Oh yeah, crazy yeah. Like that. Unreal Four. Yeah. Yeah. But now nah, this looks like Last of Us Red Dead. This is my kind of game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All the light. I love that this guy's like muttering to himself. Yeah, these are my kind of adventure games. Oh, yes. I'm good. Ooh, what was that? Nomad. Hey. Yeah. I just listened. This guy is <laughs> Ugh. Ooh. <laughs> Definitely makes picking up a dead guy's ammo a little more <laughs> unsettling. <laughs> cool. <laughs> even think to try to use that when I play this game. <laughs> Let me check the car. <laughs> check everything. <laughs> Do they communicate to each other? Like a limp. God, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I can only imagine how much more beautiful it's going to look now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, after after improving it the past couple of years. You know how this is going to end. Whoa! If that this silencer is... comes in handy. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. God. Whoa! Whoa! What? No! No! What gives, dude? What was all that shit with him? Yeah, why did he tackle you off the roof? <laughs> After all, looking for him, just like that, fucker. T Dog is a bitch. I love how there's only a few red dots. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, there's a lot more of that. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, <laughs> bad zombies! <laughs> 
God, oh, that's a nightmare. Oh my god, run, dude! <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna win this one. Uh. Uh. Why are you stopping, <laughs> Just go! Just go! <laughs> no! Oh no! <laughs> Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. That's always satisfying. You Get in here, bike. Drum of gas or something. <laughs> Let it off. Let it off. Yeah. Nice. Damn, dude, you no wonder you're surviving the apocalypse. Smart guy. <laughs> Resourceful. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep running in circles. Just gonna keep running in circles. Where's your motorcycle, dog? Nice, good call. Good call. You lit that shit up fast, dude. I don't know how you just carry around that bottle with his I know. <laughs> it's a very deep little bag he has. Every time he stops to shoot, I'm just like, stop! There's no... Why? <laughs> Apparently, you don't have to just do headshots for these freakers, or... Is that what they call them? Freakers. Oh my god! That guy's right next to you. How did that guy nah, suck? he didn't get you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How did he know to go there? Is there something guiding him? I wonder if the game developers get scared playing. <laughs> when they're all too afraid to play it, that's when they say the game. <laughs> we can release this now. No! Oh! 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 Looks like. Michael Berryman in the Hills Have Eyes. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Dude, you're going to be sore tomorrow. Oh. 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 I don't know. That break in through there. Why are you drawing attention to yourself? Why are you drawing so much attention to yourself? <laughs> Where is your motorcycle? <laughs> GTFO! Terrifying! <laughs> I was his character not screaming his head off. <laughs> he's used to this. He's getting a workout. That's what he's doing right now. Does he expect to just kill all these people? <laughs> Does he have internet? Oh, is the red dots mean like you gotta take care of that specific swarm on, on the map? Nice music, too. Yeah, there must be like a certain swarm of them that you have to take out. Yeah. Shoot the drum. Yeah, you can. That'll stop. They won't be able to get <laughs> that. <laughs> Although, I mean, they're there are so many of them. It's like fucking like World War Z. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I don't know why he shoots like the ones on the far left. <laughs> like they're probably focused on the far row, dude. <laughs> oh, <laughs> gross. There's so many of them there. <laughs> My god, I don't know how you're surviving this. Oh! They yeah, fuck you. Get out of way. Just casually take my time putting this in here. <laughs> Just move very slow. Can't be hasty with organization. Nice. Dude, like the you, 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 I don't know why you're using the assault rifle. That just seems like the most efficient way to kill it. Yeah, man. Quantity. I like this 
guy's tattoos. Oh! That, that, that one, he reacted to shit! <laughs> that one, shit! <laughs> Why are you here? Dude, just keep running. How have you not, like, fallen off this roof? Just keep running. Don't shoot. Uh, 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 the worst possible spot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are completely surrounded. There's no way you could get more bullets. <laughs> There's just no way. And, and yet you're still shouting, come on. <laughs> and you're out in the middle. You're out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> you could have easily just... You just didn't... You didn't have to stay there. <laughs> I know. Was... Why did you stay? <laughs> Especially after that guy you were looking for turned out to be such a bust to like get on your bike. Like, why was he looking for him and he just after all that, man? <laughs> this is a fascinating. Just get on your fucking bike. <laughs> this is a fascinating teaser because I'm so dazzled by like just what is physically happening, but I'm a little confused by the actual context of why. <laughs> confused by the logic of why are you still here run to your bike and why did you do so much for this guy who at no point at least in this interaction had any intention of helping you yeah. or going along with you or being part of your plan <laughs> i'm i'm really happy because for that large quantity it's terrifying when you turn around they're all so close to you and the the difficulty i have with games where you have to shoot creatures like this is usually it's like headshots or it takes a lot more bullets to take them down mm -hmm. or something more specific, which is kind of terrifying. I like here that with the quantity of <laughs> rounds you can unload, you don't have to like only headshot them, you know? They're not that hard to kill. It's just that there's an obscene amount yeah. of them. <laughs> yeah. To the point where it's just like, I gotta imagine this would be a very scary game to actually play because... I oh mean, no, I was freaking out. I was watching him like, yeah. oh my god, they're right behind you! <laughs> because not only do you have all that intensity of the horde itself, but you also had those little moments like when he's uh, investigating that little trunk at one point and then one of them just comes out of nowhere right yeah. behind you like that jump scare thing which like i flash back to resident evil like i think everybody has that you know pants crappingly horrifying memory of like when you're going down that one hall in the first game and the dog jumps through the window and you lose your shit like yeah. it reminded me of that i am really looking forward to this i want to see more of of it you know because of course with the i think this was their first gameplay that they did i wonder if there must be another one because this is from 2016 so there has to be another gameplay out for this nope just the one just teaser. the one and then people who just hope that when it releases everyone remembers this so, still excited yeah. from all that time ago <laughs> oh there was one from three months ago that's an 80 minute gameplay demo wow okay yeah. all right let's react to that <laughs> you know, those seem like they're a lot like a lot but i'm like ah you know games take like so 20 hours to hours <laughs> and, and that in a game like this is like if you don't bother with any of the sides you know, like it's well i wonder how much I, I don't know if this is open world i mean at least from what i read up on it it doesn't sound like it's open world it seems like that it's a very specific adventure you have to go down yeah on the whole time i hope it's not only that the whole time because i do like the whole figuring out and for games like this you do need a compelling storyline to keep you engaged. I mean, the world sounds really cool to me because I heard that it's more than just like the zombie humans that you do get like bears and wolves in here who are also, uh, they call them freakers. Yeah. Which are just zombies. <laughs> yeah. And it's, so, yeah, basically. Infected <laughs> characters. Zombie monsters. Yeah. And I, I feel like for games like this, especially with a, you know, like, hey, we slightly changed some things, but it's essentially a zombie game. For something like this, you do need a very compelling storyline. Like, for me, Last of Us is one of my favorite video games, mm -hmm. and it's because the storyline in there is so cool. And this is, like, my kind of male action hero I could get on board with. I like how in video games now, with uh, situations like this, they do have the characters react in circumstances. Mm -hmm. That's why I was kind of thrown back when I'm like, 
why is he not like freaking out about any of these? Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, then every once in a while he's just like, whoa, shit, damn yeah. it, you know? And it's just, yeah. and he has a reaction like that that makes it that much more gripping. You're like, oh yeah, that's because that's how I'm feeling this entire time. <laughs> yeah, know? well, that's a little thing about modern games that I do really appreciate is just like the little aside lines where they're talking to themselves or whatever. And he's like, oh, maybe I could use this. You know? I could use that. And he looks like Sam Witwer because I believe Sam Witwer like is this character at least provided yeah. the voice and i wonder if maybe mocap because it does look a lot like him oh no it absolutely does sam does... wilber from the movie trivia showdown that's is what he's right. most famously Best known, known for, for yeah. that and uh stephen and king's for, the mist yeah and voicing for uh one of the star wars animated shows too yeah yeah, yeah that sam whitworth gets around man yeah it does look like him and, and I, what i like about the personality and, and the costume design of this guy is i i don't know what city this takes place in or state that it's inspired Fired Colorado by. Springs, Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> One can only hope. <laughs> but it, he does just look like, you know, a Midwest a dude. <laughs> yeah. 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 He would be dressed like this. Jeans and a backwards cap. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, a, a ripped up vest on over a beat up <laughs> t-shirt. Just looks like a dude and he probably had some type of lifestyle beforehand where he would go hunting or fishing yeah. or, you know, probably an build my motorcycle, you know, yeah. like, just looks like a dude. All the above. Now, now this looks like a really cool game. Um, it's cool that it's cool that my real introduction to this is a week before it comes out. Yeah. I, actually, I think it was pushed back to April, as according to uh, the oh, Wikipedia really? here. Yeah, it says they uh, delayed it uh, to allow for them to polish. So, uh, yeah, four years ain't enough. Yeah. <laughs> we need an extra two months. So that's it. <laughs> then we swear we'll be done. No more. Oh, okay. And, and the hit, thanks for requesting this, buddy. And we were looking up your name, mm -hmm. and on Google, it says that your name literally means copper, oh, which is this guy's name. Oh, you, it's like you guys are named after each other. It's like I'm petting you right now. Do you have cat-like tendencies? Like, if we met, would you, like, nuzzle up on me right away? It's like I'm licking you, low hit. I know. Oh, dude, that's how cats give each other a bath. Mm. Hygiene is everything. That's how my girlfriend and I give each other baths. I mean, it saves a lot of water. And when I go to Canada to visit you, that's how I'm giving you a bath. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to lick you up and down everywhere. I once had a transgender person tell me that, and they followed through with that order. Oh, well done. Hey man, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm looking forward to this experience. I've never been to Canada, and I've also never filmed a tongue bath. So, yeah. I think I'm gonna come along and document this experience. Come along. Ah. I believe we did already do a shout out for Low Hit, where I did this exact joke. Did you really? Comment below, Low Hit, and tell me if I've already repeated myself. Are we running out of? But sometimes repeating the joke is just. It's like a sequel. To a comedy movie. Well, the thing is, like, cats on the internet, it doesn't matter how many times you repeat the joke, like, people just love that shiz. Yeah, we're going to use one of these moments as the thumbnail. Mm hmm And, uh... <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> cat reaction. Stop fighting it. Stop fighting it, Copper. You're stuck. I just want to know what you think in this moment. Guys, you can subscribe to the Reject Nation, click that notification bell, and we'll catch you soon. Yay!